Hi, I'm Matt from Vibrelli, and this is an introduction to the Vibrelli Mini Bike Pump. This is a great pump for all types of riding, road, mountain bike, or just everyday use. It's a really strong pump, yet it's lightweight, weighing just over five ounces. It also has a clever valve system built into it, meaning it can attach to Presta or Schrader valves automatically. All you simply do is remove the dust cap, attach it to the valve, lock it into position, and start inflating. You don't have to take this pump apart to swap any adapters. It's quick and easy. It also comes with a telescope design, meaning the barrel can unlock and extend. This allows you to get more volume per stroke for faster inflation. And then when you want to get to higher pressure, you simply lock the barrel off and you can finish off with higher pressure inflation at the end. We also provide a mounting bracket which attaches to the bottle cage holes and it clips onto the pump to hold it nice and snug and then we have a velcro strap which holds it into place to stop rattling or it coming off. We also provide a sports ball needle adapter which screws in here so you can pump up all of your sports balls as well. As part of your purchase we also provide a handy glueless puncher repair kit. The patches don't require any glue, you simply peel, apply over the puncher, inflate and be back riding in no time. And it's really small and lightweight and can easily fit in your saddlebag. The pump also comes in a matte black or the silver for your preference. So this is an introduction to the Vibrelli Mini Bike Pump. Happy riding! In this video, we're going to show you the Pro Bike Tool Pump with Gauge. We'll start off by taking you through how to assemble the pump. First thing you need to do is open the dust cover at the handle end of the pump and unscrew the hose which is stored within. The hose is then screwed into the opposite end of the pump so you need to open the dust cover here and then screw in the hose at the relevant end. There's arrows on the hose which show you which end you need to use for either a Presta or a Schrader valve. As a general rule of thumb, Schrader tubes and valves are found on mountain bikes and BMXs and Presta are for most other types of bike. On this occasion, we're going to be pumping a Presta valve, so you assemble the hose into the pump like so. Before you start trying to pump the tire, you must first ensure that the valve of the inner tube is fully unscrewed, otherwise air will get trapped in the hose as you try to pump. You then screw the hose of the pump deeply onto the valve of the inner tube like so. You may need to give it a bit of a push as you screw. When you're sure that you've got a nice secure fit, you're ready to start pumping away. Once you've started to get some air into the pump, you'll see the pressure gauge starting to rise, and that's the red tube here. You can see now that we've got about 4 bar, or 40 psi. Once you've achieved the pressure that you want, you simply unscrew the pump and hose from the valve, like so. And it's important also to make sure that you do up the core of the valve. Once you've removed the pump from the valve, you're ready to disassemble it. All you have to do is unscrew the hose from the pump and place it into the handle end of the pump like so and screw it in. You then replace the dust caps at both ends, stash it away into your bag or your pockets and you're ready to ride off. <laughs> 